Hey there, this is Ravi Jalobos, and today I wanted to talk to you about a product from Adobe called Adobe Shadow. Adobe Shadow allows you to test your websites on mobile devices by creating a connection that updates dynamically. And that means you can visit a site on your desktop browser and simultaneously preview it on multiple phones and tablets. Setting up does take a few steps, so first thing you need to do is download the Shadow desktop application, which is at labs.adobe.com slash technology slash shadow. Once you finish downloading, if you're in a PC, you're going to need to also install something called Bonjour, which comes by default on Macs and will allow the program to talk to the mobile devices. Once you finish the installation, just run the application. And once you've run the application, you can go ahead and minimize it. You'll also need to download the Adobe Shadow plugin for Google Chrome. So you want to go to the Google Chrome Web Store, which is at chrome.google.com slash web store, and then do a search for Adobe Shadow. Once you download the plugin, you'll also need to go to each app store on every device and download the Adobe Shadow app. You can go to this link to get to the Adobe Shadow application page, but you'll probably just want to do a search for Adobe Shadow in your app store. Once you've got everything installed, you'll see that there's an additional pop-up menu at the top right-hand side of Google Chrome. From there, you should be able to see the mobile devices that have the Shadow app installed and are in the same network. Once the applications load, if you've previously connected with Adobe Shadow, they will automatically display the page that you're currently on. The first time you do this, you're going to need to pair the devices, which involves typing in some numbers, much like what you do when you connect to a Bluetooth keyboard. Once the devices are paired, you can connect to the desktop that you want to sync to from the Adobe Shadow app. Once you've got everything installed, switch into any website on your desktop browsers will automatically update all of your mobile devices. Adobe Shadow loads up a completely different page for each device. So if you have any special features targeting specific devices, you'll see that the layout on your different mobile devices will change to adjust. So the blog for view source, my weekly series on lynda.com, looks a bit different on the Galaxy phone than on the tablet. When you write responsive CSS, Adobe Shadow will load the proper version of the code into each device. One of the really cool things that you could do with Adobe Shadow is actually inspect the DOM for each device that you're previewing. If you click on the Adobe Shadow pop-up menu in Chrome and then click on the remote inspector that looks like a pair of tags to the right of any device, we will launch a special web server called the WineRest server. If we click on the Elements tab at the top of the browser, we'll be able to make changes to the page currently displaying on that device. I can delete elements in the DOM simply by clicking on them and hitting the delete key. So Adobe Shadow is more than just about previewing your layouts on different mobile devices. It also allows you to dynamically update and edit your DOM, which is a really powerful way of helping you develop websites.